Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Auntie Val. Thanks for stopping by and seeing what's going on in my kitchen today. I'll be making homemade meatballs. That's right, ground turkey, homemade meatballs, okay? I'm gonna smother them down in some gravy and onions. Ooh, they're gonna be delicious over some mashed potatoes. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna be needing some breadcrumbs, a little flour, some cheese, an egg, um, some garlic, bell peppers, onions, a little parsley flakes, an egg, Italian seasoning, seasoning salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. And those are my ingredients that I'm gonna need. And let me get these cut up and I'll be okay, right guys. I've already started cutting up my veggies. Well, not my bell peppers and my onions and my garlic. I'm going to put them in here. Okay. We have a few more to cut up. And once I get these in here, and I'll add in the rest of my ingredients. And I do cook a lot of things with bell peppers and garlic. Especially when it comes to my meat. And see, when you're cooking with ground turkey, as much ground turkey as I cook, then you know, sometimes you have to, it's a little, it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, whereas ground beef. Ground beef has more flavor, but it's just, you know, trying to eat healthier. So I haven't cooked with ground beef in years. Every now and then I'll get a, I'll buy a burger or something, but as far as me cooking with ground beef, I don't, don't do that anymore. It's not to say anything negative about ground beef. It's just that I'm trying to eat a little healthier. And I tell you, when you start eating the ground beef, you won't even know the difference. If it's seasoned and prepared the right way, you have enough seasoning on it, because you have to put a little more, a little more seasoning on ground turkey than you would ground beef. Okay. Okay. I'm almost done with this. I only have five left to go. Now that I have that in here, next I'm going to put my, um, I'm gonna put some flour in here. A little flour, just a little, to help kind of brown it. I'm gonna put my bread comes in. Okay, now as you, I'm not really measuring, maybe this is maybe about a half a cup, a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'll leave the, the ingredients in the description below, okay? I guess I'll check my egg out. I like to stir my eggs with the yolk up so that my eggs are the full of everything equal. Okay. And then I'm going to put in my seasonings. I'm going to put some parsley flakes. That's about a, about a teaspoon. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of water powder, some Italian seasoning. Not too much, it's very strong. Maybe about a, maybe about a teaspoon or less. Then I'll put a little seasoning salt. Just about a, about two teaspoons. And then my pepper, about a tablespoon. No, I'm sorry, about a teaspoon as well. I don't like to put my hands in. That's just me. 
Okay, I'm gonna need one more roll. Well, actually, I'm gonna need two, but I'm gonna start off with one mix. Okay. This is only a pound of ground turkey. Only a pound. Okay, put the cheese in here. A little cheese. I'll put the rest of the cheese in. This was, it wasn't a full cup, but I mean, you can put a full cup, it wouldn't hurt, into a pound. Then I might just ooh, sprinkle a little more, a little more breadcrumbs. Just a little. Okay. Get this stirred up here. Yes. I just wanted to cover the bottom so that I can fry my meatballs first. Okay, so I'm just gonna pinch off the, you know, the size that I want my meatballs to be. Not too big, not too little, and just roll them. Just roll them. And normally I, I keep water on the side so that I don't want the don't want the meat to all of it to stick to my hands. So I just put a little water in there and that kind of helps with it and just Roll it. Roll them out about that size is nice. Nice size. And I just continue on until I have them all rolled. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. little too hot. Woo -hoo. Turn this down some. How about I just take it off? I wasn't quite ready to use it yet. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish rolling these up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, all of our patties, I'm sorry, all of our meatballs are rolled and my grease is nice and hot, not too hot. I had to let it cool off. And I'm just gonna put them in my grease. So I'm gonna pop them in my oil. I thought I had it on medium and it was not. So, I'm just gonna pop these in here like this. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put them all in at one time. Maybe, no, come on. Shy of one meatball. Oh, I have to make room for one more. There we go. Okay, guys. I have them all in. We're gonna let them cook and get browned all over. Now I'll be back. Okay guys, my meatballs are cooking really good. I'm going to make sure that they are completely done in the inside before I prepare my gravy, okay? Homemade gravy as well, and homemade mashed potatoes. Hello. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Okay guys, my meatballs are done. So now I'm going to prepare my gravy to smother them down in, okay? First, I'm going to turn on my, I'm going to turn on my stove, okay? Turn that on, 
And for those of you that do not know how to cook gravy, pay close attention. Okay. We're going to need some oil. Okay, now all depending on how much you're going to cook, this is a, I'm gonna pour this, this is a fourth cup of oil, okay? Put that in there. Next, you're going to add some flour. Okay, I had flour left over that I put in my meatballs. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pour that around in there. I might need a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more, a little more flour. Guys, I keep everything in my refrigerator. My flour, my cornmeal, my rice. My house, I keep my AC on, but you know, sometimes the house gets a little warm from cooking and whatnot. And I don't wanna, want anything to go bad on me. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more flour in here. Okay, I'm gonna get my spoon. I'm gonna stir that around. Stir it around until all of the flour has dissolved into the oil and you got like a pasty, a pasty base, okay? Now, you have to let your, you have to let your gravy, you have to let this sit until it turns the color that you want it to, to turn. I like mine to be like a, a brown type, something like beige, so it doesn't matter, but you just let this cook down. Let this cook down. And you have to pay close attention to it well because it will burn. Okay, you get your look close. Okay, this is what it should look like. It should start to bubble. You just let it boil. Just let, I mean, I'm sorry, just let it bubble. Just let it cook down because the flour is, is cooking in. The oil is, is cooking the flour and it's gonna turn it, you know, to whatever color that you'd like to, that you'd like it to turn. I like mine, it's a little golden brown, I'll show you. I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't burn or anything. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you keep it stirred. See how the gravy is starting to turn in color? I want it all to be like that. I actually could have put a little more, a little more flour in here, but it's okay. piece of the onions from the meatballs got in there okay so now it's getting kind of brown okay so next what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my onions onions already cut I cut up some onions I'm gonna put my onions around in there onions in there like that cook them down and around in it Okay, I like to cook some onions, get a little soft. Ooh, they smell so good. Okay, it doesn't look like much now, but you just wait. You just wait. Okay, guys, my gravy is the color that I want it to be. So next, you get you hot water, not cold water. You get hot water and you pour it in real slow. Okay, that's about two cups. So I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna kind of stir it up a little bit and because I'm going to make, um, some mashed potatoes to go with it. I need a little more gravy there, so I'm going to pour in a little more. So I'm pouring probably about another cup. Okay. About another half a cup. Okay. And I'm just gonna stir this around. Oh, 
Okay, and next I'm going to add in my seasonings. I'm going to put in uh, garlic powder from the top off. Put in a little garlic powder. A little seasoning salt. And some black pepper. I'll put that in in a moment. Okay, but for now, I'm just gonna let that come to a boil. And once it starts to boil, you can just kinda mix up all your seasonings in it. As it cooks, it will thicken up. Okay. And if you feel like you need a little more room for your for your gravy, you can always put in a little um, little chicken stock into a little bowl of a little more of your flour and stir it up and pour it in if it's not thick enough for you. So we're gonna let this come to a boil. And now, you guys, I had to add in my black pepper. So I added in my black pepper and ready cooking cooking down. So next, I'm going to add in my meatballs. So take them. Here to here. So set them in there. Okay, now, now you do know that if you want your gravy really thick, you just add more flour. Less oil and more flour. And then you just let it all come to a boil. Let it all simmer down. Simmer, I'm sorry, simmer down, simmer down. Let it all simmer down like this. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna let it cook on high for about, oh, about five or 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it down on, on low, okay? And I'll be back. Okay guys, if your gravy is not thick enough, this is what I did. I took a little more flour and put it in here. And then I took some of the juice out of the gravy already and added it in there and just, Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. And then just pour it all over in there with your gravy. That helps thicken it up. So you can't go wrong with doing gravy. You really can't. But I know it happens. I mean, I've had some gravy before that, mm, you know, I just had to pass on. Okay guys, let me just get this all mixed in here and then I will be back. Okay guys, I have my um, my meatballs cooking on low and I probably should have already, you know, peeled my potatoes and, and had them boiling already, but I didn't. So that's what I gotta do next. So while this is on low, I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes, okay? Okay guys, my meatballs are pretty much ready, but I just put on my potatoes but I cut them in real really really small dices so it shouldn't take no more than about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be back to show you the whole meal put together okay okay guys my potatoes are done so now I'm just gonna fix these up really quick here just going to add in some butter maybe about two tablespoons full Then 
Then I'm gonna put a little milk. Maybe about two tablespoons or half a cup. Half a cup to a cup. You be the judge of that. Just pour, stir this up in here like this. garlic in my potato garlic, garlic powder, I don't cook with garlic salt. Garlic powder in there. Mix it up. Okay guys, and I do believe this is all ready here. Okay. I'm gonna put it all together and serve you up a plate, okay? I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's how I make my homemade meatballs and my homemade mashed potatoes. I threw in some corn on the side. You gotta have veggies with all your meals now. Well, I at least try to. Okay guys, if you enjoyed hanging out with me in my kitchen and seeing how I get down, can you please comment, like, and subscribe and share if you care guys, okay? Till next time, bye.